Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from wisdomseekers.net. This is my logo. Phoenix Rampant to the Phoenix Rising, which suits very well this time in our in our life. This what's happening in in the uh, world at large. So while I'm on the subject, thumbs up please. Press a button. Whatever pe everybody else says, please do that. <laughs> I'm not very good at remembering that sort of thing. This is for the 17th of January, 2024. And what's the energy like today? I think the energy, well, of course it's going to be, it's a dichotomy, let's be honest. For certain people, it's really good. And for other people who are catching up, and and haven't we haven't chosen yet to let go their burdens? It's probably harsh. But for for a lot of people who put in the effort, it's going to be easier today for the seventeenth, because today I find the energy. It's not light. It's actually quite strong, not heavy, strong. And that means what does it mean? It means a lot of things, honestly. But it's a very individual day. How it affects you will affect you in an individual way. If you're not due for, uh, if you've done your lessons for, and you're caught up, you'll be fine. If you haven't caught up with your lessons, then you won't be. And for people who've caught up, but their body hasn't adjusted, they may be sick. And there's a lot of people sick in January. And I know of a couple of people who have had COVID or are in the process of having COVID. Why COVID particularly? Because we are still running that energy through our system. We're still running the energy of lockdowns, enforced sh shots, etc., and an undeniability. Plus, the powers that be are threatening that disease X is coming. And we won't go into it because it's kind of dire. But I don't believe it's, I don't believe that it will happen. I do believe it will be forestalled because I don't think society wants that to happen. It, it's, it has no interest in, in it happening. So I do believe as a group mind, we will not allow that to happen. So, if you've heard about disease X, know that you, what you decide, it, it will go in with the group mind, and we won't have it. All right, so let's go uh, on with this. And you know, ground roots belief system is very powerful. It's the ground roots that, that allowed us to have COVID it would be the ground roots that denies us disease X. We are very powerful when we work together. Individually, we're powerful, but as a society, we're even more powerful. You don't want a World War III? We won't have a World War III. You don't want disease X? No disease X. You want housing to be affordable? Housing will become affordable. But we have to work together to do that. And uh, until we do, we have all these rumors running around the world. Maybe make that, make that our, our desire for 2024 as we have individual needs and wants, which come first, of course. But make it that our group think is powerful, strong, and motivated for in the right direction. And that might be because we are moving up to the fifth. And the fifth is quantum, which means together. Everything is connected. So as we move to a higher vibration, groupthink will be positive because we'll have telepathy. You can't, you can, but you've got to be really darn good to do it. Lie with telepathy or feelings. And I, I have never run into somebody that good. 
and I and I've used telepathy for for years, well, close to fifty years. So we have a lot of power behind us, and if we can understand that we're powerful individuals, but even more so as group think, and maybe that is a bad term. I don't know. It's just. It seems to have a good one. All right, so for January 17th, it's the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is, it's, it's, a, it's a good card. It's, it's a card of looking back over the life, going, ah, it's a pretty decent life, but it's time for a change. And we're bringing magic into the, into the being now. And so, as for group think society wide, it has been, except for an exceptional percentage, of, uh, generally we have gone deeper and deeper into lack mode. But January 17th is all about the Empress, is all about abundance and abundance in all forms health, wealth, wisdom. nice things if you have if you want desperately to wear nice clothes then then think it into position yes this is what i choose then wait tell the universe of course that this is what you desire then allow it to flow don't think about it just allow it to come to you and one day you're going to turn around and go wow look at all my nice clothes or car or horse or, hu or great human beings around you. It doesn't matter what you choose, it, as long as it's for you. All right, and the three, three of wands. Of course, to do all that, you have to be strong in yourself. You have to be aware of who you are, which means you are self-responsible. And when you're self-responsible, you don't go, they made me do it, you go, Okay, what was in me that caused me to react that way? What's in me that made me angry? Or th what's in me that made me feel bad? What did I do to cause this energy? It's all about you. All right? But it is also a day of coming together. Because this is very rare. Do I ever get uh, one of the, the kings and queens together? And this is about abundance, it's king and queen together. It is a day that indicates that the balance of the male-female energy is very, very important on the 17th of January. Allow it to come into you. But I have a lot of abundance cards today, a lot. How do you do it? Well, the new byword is be in happiness or be in joy. And if you haven't got that in you, being in the closest proximity of joy or happiness. Because not everybody's going to be there. The people who are feeling low in life or are sick or something, if you can find one thought that's positive, celebrate it. But again, like I said, there's a lot of cards that are talking about abundance today. But I'm running out of time as usual. We have support. A lot and a lot of support. We are the light workers and the light workers can be at any spiritual level you want to be and you may not consciously know you're on the cho on the path but there's a certain drive a certain <coughs> I've got to do this energy so one of the first things to do is look after yourself 49% in service to self first 51 in service to others second if you stay in balance and last card, and I'm always happy to get this one, Nine of Cups, be on cloud nine, but more importantly, it's the wish card, and it's a card of having fun. So have fun with it, enjoy it, make the biggest wish you can think of that you have fun with, all right? So namaste, namaste, I love you, and you, you I do love.